Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. In today's video, I'll be using Honeybee Stamps Plaid A2 Hot Foil Plate, also the Foil Script Holiday Dies, Lovely Layers Winter Greenery, and Lovely Layers Poinsettia Dies. I'll start off by doing some hot foiling. I have my glimmer machine all ready to go. I'll add my plate and let that heat up. The glimmer foil I'll be using today is the opaque white and I'll be hot foiling on some craft colored cardstock. So once that plate is all ready, I'll add my piece of foil shiny side down, then place my craft cardstock on top and I lay that piece of craft cardstock down crooked. So I'm using my tweezers to straighten it. You want to make sure not to touch this area. It is very hot. So once I have that straight, I'll add the two acrylic shim spacers and I'm also using a cardstock shim. I'll remove it from my glimmer machine, run it through my die cut machine, then I'll pull away that foil piece to reveal the beautiful plaid design on the craft cardstock. Now there was a little area that the foil didn't take to that cardstock, but that's okay. I'll be covering it up with a sentiment and image. I did trim down this panel to four inches by five and a quarter inches. Then I'll layer it on some gold mirror cardstock. And instead of layering that panel so the gold goes all the way around it, I decided to put it in the lower left hand corner. So you'll only see that little bit of gold on the top and on the right side. Then I'll add my card front onto a card base, leaving about a fourth of an inch of the white card base showing, but just on the top and the right side. I'll be adding a couple of poinsettias to my card, and I did cut out enough pieces for two flowers. I'm adding just a little bit of ink to the outside petals using the party dress ink color from Catherine Pooler. Honeybee Stamps Lovely Layer Flower Sets are some of my favorites and I was super excited to see the new edition of the poinsettia. Now I'll start assembling the flowers. I'm using my fingers to curl up some of the petals just slightly. Then I'll put liquid adhesive on the back side and adhere all four of the layers together. I think the sets are very easy to figure out what direction to put all the layers. But if you're not sure, you can always head over to Honeybee Stamps website where they do have a layering guide. I love how the dies add beautiful etch detail to the petals and the leaves. So now I'll do the same thing for the second flower. This was my first time using the die set and I couldn't resist making some pink poinsettias. Once I have both of the flowers assembled, I'll add a little bit of shimmer using Honeybee Stamps B Shimmery Watercolor. Put just a small drop on an acrylic block, add a little bit of water, and I'm using a paintbrush and just lightly tapping it over the flowers. I think the poinsettias look even prettier with that little bit of shimmery sparkle. I'll set both of those flowers aside to dry and start working on the sentiment. I'll be using the sentiment Merry Christmas. And I've already done the hot foiling and used the coordinating die to cut this out. I put some foam dimension on the back side and I'll adhere it in the lower left hand corner. And I use some gold holographic foil for the sentiment. So it's super sparkly. Now I'll add a few leaves and these are from the Lovely Layers poinsettia set. The branches are both from the Lovely Layers winter greenery set. I cut out the leaves and the pine tree branches from some teal cardstock. One side of the cardstock has a pearlescent finish. So for the branches, I use that pearlescent side. The other side is solid and that's what I use for the leaves. I did add some foam dimension on the end of the three leaves Then I'll glue the rest down using some liquid adhesive. For the white branches, I use some white shimmer cardstock. So this card has lots of shimmer and shine. I'll add some of the greenery in the upper left hand corner and the rest on the right side of the card. And I will be popping up both of the poinsettia flowers. The white branches are fairly tall, so I did trim them down. Most of that area will be covered up with the flowers. But I didn't want those pieces to go to waste, so I did add them with the rest of the greenery. Next, I'll add some foam dimension on the back of the flowers. 
The shimmery watercolor isn't completely dry, so I'm trying to be really careful not to touch it. Before placing the poinsettia down, I'm rotating the flower to make sure none of the petals are covering up the Merry Christmas sentiment. So after I have the first flower in place, I'll put foam dimension on the back of the second flower. Then I'll do the same thing, just rotate it, making sure those petals aren't covering up the sentiment. For a final finishing touch, I'm using Honeybee Stamps brand new Gold Glimmer Enamel Dots. These are super sparkly with all that beautiful gold glitter look. This set includes three different sizes, and I love that they're not super thick. I'll put two in the upper right hand corner, two underneath the sentiment on the right, and one on the left side of the card. So there is my finished card, and I did make two using this design. I love how this card turned out. Honeybee Stamps has so many fun new products from their brand new Make It Merry release. If you are interested in any of the products, I do have links provided in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.